obviously, I'm pretty passionate about this stuff. I've been trying to do this for a long time. This is the first time that I've seen in one page a framework that makes sense to me. Kind of takes all the different elements that we've been working on on spreadsheets and different tools and brings them all into one place. Well, there's a lot of people like me, it turns out, out there. You may not recognize all the names. You probably recognize a lot of the companies. These are, these are big companies. These are really, really smart people who have been wrestling with the same challenges over the years. And we've come together as one team. And you know, our mission is, and I'll read this, to serve equally our members and our profession by synthesizing technology business management best practices into a professional and recognized discipline for technology leaders. Nothing more, nothing less. This is a nonprofit organization. Our goal is not to package this and figure out a way to sell it to everybody. Make tons of money. TPI and Hackett come to mind, many others. Our goal is to make this publicly available intellectual property. We think that this is so important to the IT profession that we need to figure out how to put it into an understandable set of formats and make it available to everybody because it's good for everybody. And the more people who adapt it, the stronger the message. The stronger the message, the more we change the view of IT from a, simply a service and a cost to a true differentiator to every organization in the world. Other than that, my goals are pretty small. So uh, we, we do believe in this. We share this belief. And we are really dedicated to helping CIOs and IT professionals figure this out. And then we want to engage CIOs and IT professionals to continue to make it better. And we'll talk about that in a second. So how are we going to do this? Yesterday, we officially launched the first chapter of the TBM book. It's an e-book. Hey, we're IT people. It's cool. It's an e-book. It's got all sites of cool interaction. It's got infographics. I mean, we are inherently an ADD kind of people. This is not you know, simply words on pages. This stuff moves, and it happens, and there's video. And I mean, it is cool. And I really encourage you to go out and take a look at this. This is, this is, this is good stuff. And uh, our plan is to serially release this. That is not cereal that you eat. That's serially. Um, release this about every six to eight weeks, a new chapter aligned to the framework. So chapter one is the introduction, kind of gets you understanding what TBM as a, as, a, as a framework means. And now each subsequent chapter is going to go into more detail, more best practices and case studies around each of the framework elements about every six to eight weeks. And this is, this is uh, being written through a work group that, that manages the, the ebook part of, uh, of a three-pronged approach that we have to educating the industry about technology business management. And we're very, very excited about this. By doing an ebook, this also enables us to continually adapt new thinking, new best practices, and synthesize more and more of the thinking as we broaden the understanding of TBM as a practice. So it is not a static book. It will be a very dynamic book. What really differentiates this from my perspective is that we've included a diagnostic tool, an index, as part of the TBM education foundation. The purpose of the index is to give you a benchmark for how your organization is doing relative to the framework elements at any point in time where you are. And it can be as specific as I'm the IT financial management person, and I want to understand how I'm doing here. To the CIO saying, I want to understand how I'm doing against a set of peers. To a view of how you're doing against an industry set, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now, this is not meant to be a deep dive, hack it like, or TPI benchmarking um, exercise, right? We're not competing with those guys. I would say this is better. It's free. That's better. But it's, I think, more relevant to this, this question of running IT as a business. Those benchmarks are very, very important to understand how I'm doing in terms of my data center costs and my network costs and my virtualization costs and you know, very granular level technology based. This is about how I'm running IT against my peer group. 
how I'm aligning the conversation with the business, how much value is being derived from the technology investment. I think that's much more relevant to today's CIO, not that the other isn't important, just different. The index is going to be a very powerful tool that's an element of the technology business management framework. At the beginning, when you go into the book, you're going to be asked to, to uh, answer a set of questions. So, and, and by the way, we are limiting this to people who qualify. right? So there's a set of qualifications through LinkedIn. You're going to go in, and you're going to fill out, and you're going to get access to the book. And then you're going to qualify to answer this. Well, we don't want you know, everybody in the IT organization answering questions that they candidly are not qualified to answer because it would water down the value of the data that's coming out. So we are qualifying the people who answer this. And then every chapter will have subsequent questions that build upon the data that's being gathered. So that by the end of the, of the, of the 10 chapters, we're going to have very, very rich data that's directly relevant to the framework, to the TBM framework that you can use and pick and choose and uh, slice and dice. And then we'll continue with that. So it, it's very cool. And I'm not counting how many times I say cool today. So what we did just for fun last night, the team pulled together the first 27 companies that have, that have completed this. Now, I think our, the number in our head was about 300. Um, we wanted 300 um, individuals or, or companies to respond to this before we had what we considered you know, kind of relevant, meaningful, statistically accurate data. Well, we got 27 companies right now have filled this out. And, and we're not showing this to you because it does anything other than just highlight for you kind of what's coming out, right? So we, we identified kind of the top problem areas. And how are we doing on time? So I'm not going to go into the details here, but you can start to see the kinds of information, right, that, that's coming out. This is not, you know, are, is your data center operating at peak efficiency? Or, you know, have you virtualized this percent of servers compared to, you know, your competitive set? But it is focused on things that are very relevant to running IT as a business. And this goes into each of those very specifically. There was just one I wanted to call out. 52% and 50% reporting deficiencies in managing IT finances. So we have opportunities. I mean, this is showing that at least for those first 27 companies that have filled this out, this is an area of focus. Well, that's an opportunity for each of you. Then we, we talk about TCO. Transparency, optimizing portfolios, project portfolios, and then alignment of investments and how those are being reviewed every single month, right? So best practices around not just aligning your portfolio once, but how you do that on an ongoing, consistent basis. So the, e, the, the book, the TBM book there in the middle is part of the education of part of the education pillar. There are three pillars to getting this message out. We have a collaboration pillar, which is very focused on CIO summits, so face-to-face -face gatherings, sharing of best practices, networking together to talk about the TBM framework and what's working, what's not working, the education pillar itself, the book, and then finally the benchmarking element, the index. So these three working in conjunction, we believe we can get the message out, we can change the way people are thinking about IT and IT as a business, and we, ultimately we can help the CIO and the IT financial management evolution towards a much more powerful partnership using a framework that drives the value of IT in a, in a way that the business understands.